G'day gang game, will you? Dan here, how you going? Why back in the never winter? What is that guy doing there? Kolneg Stouthammer? You're not even sitting on the seat properly, mate. You're actually kind of... It, it, it's like a squat. It's just weird. Alright. Anyway. Some time has passed. We have some s items in our delivery box. Take your item from the delivery box. Okay. Your delivery box is full. You need to make space and restart your orders. What? What? Uh, once any order has been completed, it will be available for collection here. Double-click your item to claim your order. Okay. So I can just collect all, yes. Now it's emptied. There's two items being worked on in the mo at the moment. One in two hours, one in nine, hour nine minutes. Talk to the retainer, Siren. That covers the basics. At this rate, the workshop will be restored in no time. Travel size recipe book allows the bearer to view professional recipes from anywhere. An exact copy of the recipe book found on the work table in your workshop. Dutifully maintained and updated by your retainer when new recipes are available. Simple training manual with instructions on how to improve one's craftsmanship. Alright. Clean up and repair the workshop. Your retainer looks as if... As... Your retainer looks as if though they're ready to get the repairs and clean up underway. My lord, what fortuitous timing. I have nearly finished preparations for restoring the workshop. The last thing we need is to secure a few items for the material supplier at the sv Seven Suns Market. Would you accompany me? You should get to know the material supplier if you haven't already. I'll meet you at the material supplier. I have scroll of mass life. I also have a mid barrel of goods. A barrel of goods. Potion of healing, consumable skill kits. Whole bunch of things. Double click to open the barrel. Okay. Arcana kit, religion kit, potion of healing. Recovers your you and your whole party within 50 feet of you and the line of sight from near death with full health. Three fifty-four. Level three oh three. That's a pretty good bow, but I mean the bow we've got at the moment is pretty darn good. 162 272 Maximum hit points, yes, yes, yes Pop that one on there Alright Clearly we've got a lot of A lot of stuff in our bags We need to sort that out Oh, okay, so here we go. So this is the new... The new way to... I didn't actually know this was a new thing. I thought this we just progressed this, but I found out... No, it is a new thing. They've reworked the way we do professions. Need any materials? I'm looking for supplies to repair a workshop. Ah, so you're the one. Your retainer's already given me a list of what you need. I could scarce believe it when they told me Carmella was no longer running the shop. Ah, forgive me. She was the last that ran the shop for a few years before you. Sharp as a knife, that one. For better or for worse. Uh, about those supplies. Right, the supplies. Hi, I've got what you need. And seeing as you and I'll be doing business together from now on, I'll even cut you a deal. I'm running low on high-quality materials. Nothing your artisans can't handle, I'd wager. Bring me a few and we'll call it even. I'll be back with those high-quality materials. You, sir. Mr. Cors Corsa has furnished me with a list 
I find him you accept. My lord need only deliver one of the entries on the list. Once you have the goods, return to me and I will bundle them up for delivery. A natron. An iron ingot. Brass ingot. Ash lumbar. Deer leather. Linen yarn. Linseed oil. I'll be back with the goods. Alright, so we need to... So deer leather. I think. Let's have a look. Seeing as we've got a leather worker here at level 26. Uh, I don't have... I have two deer skin. I don't have Sword Coast tea leaves. All right, let's go back to the workshop. Now, I know I could go to the auction house, but I don't really feel like sifting through thousands of listings, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to buy just one. Um, so we'll go back. Oh, man, that guy's got a cool sword. And we'll see if we can get one of our, one of our friends here to gather it. Go on a gathering task. Sword Coast Tea Leaves, here we go. No, that's the one. So we gotta get an adventurer. Oh, she's already in use. Colag, you can get off your butt and go and collect some for us. Um, so it'll take 30 minutes. You're gonna get 12 of them for us. Alright, we'll... How many orders? As many as possible, I guess. So if I say... 15. It's gonna cost 38 commission. So, that's a specific number. What happens if I say I want, I want 3,000? I want 300. It'll cost seven. So I guess this must be a way of paying for a specific amount. I, I want this, whereas this, he's going to get me, I don't know. He could give me 16. He could give me 10, maybe? Even though it says 12? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Let's see. Place the order. Off he goes. And I guess we'll just wait for that. Let's go and start our mission now so we don't spend too much time on this workshop. But I think that's it. Once that's done, once we can pick that up, we can then create it. Once we create it, we can go and take it out of the guy and then he'll be happy. Maybe after this campaign. Alright, so. For now, let's get that off the list. Focus on Into the Underdark. And we go off in this direction for glory. We are going to the Whispering Caverns. Yes. I hope. <laughs> Whispering Caverns. Yes. Meet with Davan Hoth in the North Dark Whispering Caverns. So Beneath the Crag Mountains lies an area of the North Dark known as the Whispering Caverns, the site of a Durgar mining operation. These caves are named for the strange whispers the miners hear in the dark, quiet corners. The Durgar believe the mines to be haunted. An abandoned drow settlement lay empty here for many years, but recent reports from the Guild of Underdark Guides suggest that Zesreana, Zesreana is now anything but empty. Why have the drow returned? Who whispers to the Durgar? One thing's for sure. In the Underdark, the answer is never good. The Underdark has a million ways to kill the unprepared. Most So, you're here to help. No one from the surface knows the North Dark like the Guild of Underdark Guides. But when we run into real trouble, we usually call in some serious muscle. Namely, experienced adventurers like you. The area called the Verdant Caves is like an oasis in the midst of a desert for those who venture into the Underdark. Waves of wizard fire found there provide enough light to sustain lush plant growth. That's why we chose this area for our base of operations, despite the presence of an abandoned drow settlement nearby. Unfortunately, the drow have returned and have sent their huntresses and driders into the verdant caves to stalk any surface dweller that trespasses there. I want you to show the Dark Elves that we won't be intimidated. Hunt down and kill drow huntresses and driders. Alright, you heard the man. Now we gotta talk to the old man. I dedicated my life to charting these steps, yet I've only scratched the surface of all there is to discover. 
The Guild has compiled the most complete atlas of the Underdark in existence, but there is still an immense area yet to be charted. So, as you may imagine, we are always pleased to build on reliable cartographic work already done by the Underdark's various races. Uh, to put it bluntly, we steal maps from the bad folks found down here. As you travel through these caverns, keep your eyes open for any maps and charts you may find on fallen foes and or their camps and settlements. Bring these to me, and I will see you are rewarded for your contribution. Apparently, House Solari suffered a great defeat in the Few people on the surface, surface have any notion of the fascinating world that lies below. I joined the guild as a means to pursue my study of the flora and fauna of the Underdark. Not many sages are willing to risk the perils of these underground realms, but I find it invigorating. I'm currently studying the various natural toxins found in this region. With a little study, I should be able to formulate antidotes for most of them. <sighs> of course, the hard part is collecting samples. It would really help me out if you could gather some venom samples from the spiders that infest the verdant caves. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that at the end? Yep, invoke. Invoke. Man, there's lots of quests here, isn't there? Hmm? What is it you want? Welcome, friend. It is I, Hubert Windcastle, uh, in the flesh. I am so sorry a more competent agent could not be sent. I may have perhaps offered some small insult to one of Lord Nevember's guests at table. As a result, my employment is now contingent on your mission ending in complete success. Never let it be said that Lord Protector is ungracious. Most aides would not get a second chance. To that end, Kindly follow this map to what I believe to be some kind of drow estate. You should find some enslaved nobles there. Free them if you please. I do please. If you think living off the land is tough on the surface, you should try it 3,000 feet underground. I never thought I'd end up in charge of provisions when I joined the guides. But I was a ranger for several years up above, and finding food in the wild always came easy for me. When we found the Verdant Caves, I planted a whole lot of bitter berries there. But just as they were ready to harvest, the drow returned. Now Davlin won't let me venture out to gather my crop. If you're heading out to the caves, I'd appreciate it if you could gather those bitter berries. We need every bit of nutrition we can find down here. Okay. Is that it? Everybody done? All the quests? Can I, can I leave, folks? Yes? Yes? All right, let's go. The Verdant Caves. Was that all the enemies exploding? A vast array of flora somehow lives in the depths of the Underdark, far from sky or rain. Wizard fire, luminescent fungi, and other phenomena create light in places that have been taste have never tasted sunlight. The thriving plant life supports a thinly a thin supply of herbivores that, in turn, feed a staggering number of deadly predators. The predators' diet are often supplemented with the occasional hapless adventurer. The Verdant Caves are a region abundant with such life. Mushrooms here grow to massive size, as do the spiders. One must tread carefully here, lest drop a few links on the food chain. Grab those berries. Let me take a few hits. I wonder what was exploding before. Oh, maybe it's this. The spiderlings hits.
Once I get in melee range, perhaps. Or maybe not. I don't know. That was something there, though. Now, why is my professions lighting up here? Why are they shining? A professional is... Oh, okay. So I have to go. But I have to go back to collect it, don't I? A professional order is ready to collect. Go to your workshop and open your delivery box or click here if you have a sending stone. I don't believe we got a sending stone, did we? Don't know, I don't think so. Maybe after we complete this uh, this delivery quest. Said, take that blade, spider. Ah, oh, spitting spider. There we go. You're the one that's causing me issue, huh? The four glyphs. What was that? Four glyphs, the shepherd. A bunch of warriors, but they drop real fast. And that is a okay in my book. Looking for bitter berries still. Another huntress bites the dust. Bit of berry right there. No mineral sample. Drow warrior. Is that a drider? Here we go. Drider rhyming with strider. Hey, I remember that game, strider. Love that arcade game. Although they did make a, like a Metroid-ish type of game but based on Strider, didn't they? I haven't played that one yet. Okay, another Huntress somewhere, please. One more Huntress. Huntress, here we go. Objective complete. So we're just looking for berries. And underdark maps from the denizens of North Dark. Ah! Bit of berry, bit of berry. Ah! 
Wondrous Gromit. Uh, some bit of berries here. New heroic encounter. Oh, Villathrax. Couple of berries here for us. One more set, please. Okay, all done, all done. I guess we'll go back. Oh, can we go to Drow Villa? Shall we? Oh, maybe we just go back and hand in. It'll certainly be a relief to have fewer dark girls shadowing our every move. You've made a fine beginning. Not only have you made life a bit easier for the guild, but you've also proven you have what it takes to survive in the Underdark. When we first came to these caverns, we found the drow settlement of Zesrena abandoned. We made ourselves at home in the town. But then the drow of House Solarin suddenly returned. I not even tell you they were less than pleased to find us there. Several of us managed to escape thanks to the quick thinking of our leader, Mandrake Deepwise. But others, including Mandrake, are still unaccounted for. Many of them are probably still alive in the drow slave pits. I'd like you to free them. You'll have to kill one of their jailers to get his keys first. The drow know we're here. Better keep your weapons. <laughs> These venom samples should prove invaluable in my studies. Oh, thanks, friend. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> Literally. Those spider venom samples you brought me were a good beginning, but in the Underdark you can find toxins in the flora as well as the fauna. In particular, there are several varieties of poisonous fungus to be found. The drow are quite fond of a poison brewed from the skullcap mushroom. I would dearly love to have some samples of these mushrooms, but it will mean venturing into the drow settlement of Zesrena. The drow encourage the growth of skullcaps, so there should be plenty of them growing in the town. Bitter berries! These things taste like hell raw, but with the right preparation they're tasty enough. Eh, well, palatable might be a better word. Well, all right. Edible enough not to waste, anyway. Keeping the guides fed is a big task. You've made it that much easier. Oh, level 65. And yeah, we got a new quest here as well. 